How often do you think about your heart health? Are you aware of the risks of cardiovascular disease? Well, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Cardiovascular diseases, encompassing coronary heart disease and stroke, claim the top spot as the leading cause of death in the United States. Particularly at risk are Blacks and Hispanics in underserved communities. It's a sobering reality, isn't it? But there's good news. Cardiovascular disease is largely preventable. Stay tuned to learn how you can keep your heart beating strong. Heart Smarts, a health program, is here to empower you to live a heart-healthy lifestyle. This program is not just about information, but about transformation. It offers a comprehensive approach to help you understand and achieve heart health. Heart Smarts is committed to reducing the incidence of cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. The program focuses on underserved communities where the risk of heart disease and stroke is greatest. Through education and empowerment, HeartSmarts aims to turn the tide on these statistics. It's a call to action, a call to change, a call to live healthier, longer lives. HeartSmarts is about arming you with the knowledge and tools you need to make HeartSmart choices every day. It's about the power of prevention and the promise of a healthier future. Remember, HeartSmarts is not just a program, it's a life-changing journey. It's about taking control of your health, one heartbeat at a time. But don't just take our word for it. Listen to these stories from people who have benefited from heart smarts. Imagine being told you're at risk for heart disease, a leading cause of death in the United States. Now picture having the knowledge and tools to combat that risk head on. For people like Maria, a single mother from an underserved community, heart smarts was a beacon of hope. The program informed decisions about her heart health, ultimately, ultimately, reducing her risk of cardiovascular diseases and then there's John, a middle-aged man who was once a prisoner of his poor lifestyle choices. For him, Heart Smarts was not just a program, but a lifesaver. It opened his eyes to the risks he was taking and gave him the push he needed to commit to a healthier lifestyle. These are not just testimonials. They are life-changing stories. Stories of empowerment, resilience, and triumph over heart disease. These are real stories from real people who have seen the impact of heart smarts in their lives. Are you ready to be the next success story? Your heart health is in your hands, and with heart smarts, you have the power to make a difference. It's time to take that first step towards a healthier lifestyle, a step that could redefine your future. Heart smarts is not just an ally, it's a beacon, guiding you to make informed decisions for your heart health. So why wait? The path to a healthier heart is just a click away. You'll find the link to Heart Smarts right down in the description below. Start your journey towards a healthier heart today with Heart Smarts. Remember when Pam said, I feel God in this Chili's tonight? Well, welcome to our journey through Dunder Mifflin's comedic evolution. In the beginning, there was season one of The Office. This fledgling season with its mere six episodes was a bold experiment in translating British cringe comedy to an American setting. It was raw, it was real, and it was awkward. Oh, so awkward. The creators and actors were finding their footing, exploring the dynamics of a quirky paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The humor derived largely from the discomfort of everyday workplace interactions. Remember the diversity training led by Michael Scott or the birthday party for Meredith? These episodes were filled with moments that made us squirm, but also laugh. And let's not forget the characters, each one more eccentric than the last. Michael Scott, the well-meaning but misguided boss, Pam Beasley, the receptionist yearning for more, Jim Halpert, the prank-loving salesman with a crush on Pam, Dwight Schrute, the beet farmer and assistant to the regional manager. Each character brought a unique flavor to the show, contributing to the character-driven humor that would become a staple of The Office. The first season of The Office also established the show's unique style. The faux documentary format complete with talking heads and candid camera moments was a fresh take on sitcom storytelling. It allowed for an intimate, personal connection with the characters, making their triumphs our triumphs, their embarrassments our embarrassments. This blend of cringe comedy and character-driven humor was the foundation upon which The Office was built. It was a risky move, but it paid off. The show resonated with audiences who saw their own Office experiences reflected in the antics of Dunder Mifflin's employees. Season one may have been short, but it was mighty. It set the stage for the laughs, the tears, and the that's what she said jokes that were to come. 
and as the season wrapped up, with Jim confessing his feelings for Pam and Michael being his usual clueless self, we had no idea that the best was yet to come. Yes, folks, the journey had just begun. This was the office in its infancy, and oh, what a journey it was going to be. So, buckle up, because we're just getting started. No one can forget Michael Scott's iconic line, that's what she said. It became a staple of the show and a symbol of its evolving humor. As we delve into the second and third seasons of The Office, we watch as the writers begin to play around with different comedic styles. They dabble in slapstick, wordplay, and running gags, and it's a treat to see how these experiments shape the humor we've come to love. Slapstick humor, typically characterized by physical comedy and absurd situations, becomes a key element in these seasons. Characters like Kevin Malone and Michael Scott often find themselves in hilariously awkward predicaments, adding a layer of absurdity to the everyday office environment. Wordplay, on the other hand, is where Michael Scott truly shines. His misinterpretations and malapropisms are not only a source of laughter, but they also add depth to his character. His attempts to use sophisticated language, only to misuse it comically, underline his desire to appear competent and in control, despite his often clueless demeanor. Running gags are another comedic device that begins to take shape during these seasons. The most famous of these is undoubtedly Michael's that's what she said joke. This catchphrase, often used inappropriately by Michael after an unwitting setup line from another character, is an example of how the show uses recurring jokes to 